Hello, my name is Reslin, and welcome back to Project Zomboid. We are rejoining Woodrow Lyles here. Uh, it's 3 a.m. He woke up in a panic, uh, which is, I guess, not good. Something has him spooked. Uh, I want to say this is day four, and this is the second time we have woke up spooked. So we're, um, we're definitely having some issues with that. We're a little bit sad. Um, so with the unhappiness and different things that comes in here, I'm actually going to read a comic book. Go ahead and get rid of the sadness. Um, I, uh, yeah, I'm definitely, I'm a nervous wreck. I'm terrified. I need a cigarette. I'm hoping that this will at least, maybe this will do a little bit toward the, uh, stress reduction. Yeah, a little bit, but... I'm stressed, but now I'm not a nervous wreck anymore. Still not what we're looking for. I um, I don't have any, I don't believe I have any books that I can read. I've got Metalworking Volume 2, but I'm not at the point. I don't think I can read the book. Well, yeah, I can. Okay, interesting. You can go ahead. Yeah, I know you don't understand. That's what I thought would happen. So we can throw Metalworking in there. Um... Carpentry, we've made it through volume one. Was there a Carpentry volume two upstairs? Maybe I read a little bit of that just to get done. There's a trapping book. And Carpentry volume three. We'll start collecting books here very soon. But before we do that, we need a duffel bag and we need cigarettes. And we're going to try to solve that problem today. I think I will go ahead and fix breakfast. We did find some, uh, we did find some food, some fresh food, and brought it back. So I'm going to create a salad. So we will just create this from random vegetables. Let's see what it chooses. Always like to do random. It put in carrots, and now it's adding a potato. And now we're adding something else. Now I'm going to add a random fruit, since I have some fruit. That's going to put some watermelon in the salad. Watermelon is, a, is always great in the salad. Okay, and I believe, now how much food does that give me? Let's see. That's going to be 36 with some thirst and unhappiness. So we're going to go ahead and do that. All right, we have eaten now. We should be good for a while on the food. I'll throw the bowl back in here. We will come back in around the corner into our living area where the TV is. Haven't turned the TV on yet. It's not time for the show. So I'm going to really just sit here and read for a minute. Um, I'm still agitated. I have gotten rid of the nervous wreck. And the other, the agitated, is just the lack of um, cigarettes. I'm not going to resolve that until I have some cigarettes. So we're going to wait until 6 o'clock. And what we're going to do today is we're going to clear out the house, the row of houses that are on the other street in this kind of fenced-off neighborhood, clear out any zombies on that street, check those houses and see if we can find, really, we're hoping for cigarettes. It'd be great if we were to find a duffel bag, although I don't expect to find one there. Uh, but we'll do that. Uh, we'll catch the show, the, the afternoon show, wherever we're at, and, and kind of set through the, just that wherever we're at. So we'll turn this on. We're going to speed up again. This is doing this. We will continue reading our trapping book just to uh, have something to do. And I'm going to speed up time again as we just go quicker here. So we're now at 6 o'clock. We should have our cooking show come on. I don't know what our skill level is in cooking, so let's see what we've got in cooking. We're about halfway through. So let's see what we're going to do here. Here's the cook show, 620. He is stressed, sweaty palms. There is level 2 cooking. Very good. All right. 
we have read a good bit of the trapping book and TV show is off I'm gonna throw the trapping book here no reason to carry that around I don't have a lot of space all right we're headed out um, we'll unequip the first aid kit it is 7 a.m. I don't know what woke us up but we will first thing we're gonna do is take a stroll around our house and see if there is anything in the backyard that explains what we may have seen I heard something I'm not seeing anything there so okay that looks fine I'm not seeing anything up there so we're going up to the next street we're gonna move on up there hopefully we will find some things to do I don't know if there's some zombies over here so without without a bag good bag looting is not our priority so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make our way to the end of the street and then we will work our way back up this row of houses I see that window over there is broken out on the side of that house I don't see anything down here there's trees in the way there so we will circuit here this so that's the end of the block there I'm not hearing anything so I do see a couple of zombies back here let's see I got one of their attention With the trees I can't necessarily see what's coming I don't like that So, one zombie coming. So we got this house and then the one directly across the street. And I can hear that zombie. I hope that's the one I hear. It sounds very close in my earphones. For the distance away that thing is. It is the only one I see right now. I see a zombie inside. Okay. Now what are you beating on that for? Come here. Alright, I know there's another one down here. There was three. I see one down here in the corner. I see two down there. Still agitated. Okay, both of them see me. That's fun. Some kind of howl off in the distance. Let's see if we can create some distance here. We can try to knock her down. One down. Okay. Nothing of any interest there. Nothing of any interest there. I'm not sure why I'm feeling sad again. Maybe it's just because I don't I haven't had any cigarettes. I don't know if that's a thing or not. That's an interesting question. I'm finding that I'm fighting sadness a lot more than is normal for this stage of the game. And it is empty. Wow. Well, that's uh, disappointing. Don't know if we have any more zombies. I heard one. Might be back out on that net on the street over there though. He'll make his way around if that's the case. Alright, let's see if I can see what else is in here. Alright, so that's just whoa. 
Okay. that one breaks the window out. There was one on this window as well, I think. Okay, I heard the window break. Oh, that was the one that was in there. Okay. So we'll go back around the house here. I don't see anyone else out here. Just the one zombie. This zombie is not looking all that healthy. Of course, I guess what zombie is looking healthy? All in green. Alright, is there anybody else in here? Don't see anybody. I did see food items on cabinet. Let's see. Anybody in here? Nope. Okay. So there is some food. There is a hot drink uncooked. There's milk. So I'm going to take only the fresh items that will spoil. It is 9.30. I need to pay attention to the time. I'm terrible with that. Um, there's first aid. I'm going to grab first aid. That'll give me something to read that's useful. And there's electrician. Nice. So I will grab both of those for now. Um, I don't need a spoon. That's empty. Open and close the doors as I go. There's a mortar and pestle. That'll be useful at some point. Although not really interesting at the moment. Yeah, some canned food. A fresh peach. We'll take the fresh peach. And let's go see what's upstairs. Let's get a box of cereal also. I always hate going around these corners in blind spaces. I'm not hearing any zombies up here. Of course, I have learned that doesn't really mean anything. Okay. Crates. I need cigarettes. A guitar. Wow. Lots of musical instruments which is of absolutely no value. Hand torch, tactical walkie-talkie, a flashlight. Now those might be useful at some point in time, but not now. Okay, bath towel, sleeping tablets. Hmm. Okay. No one home here. Earbuds. Oh, I saw a duffel bag somewhere. Where was that duffel bag? Thank you. That's a nice find. I can now start looting a few items. With that in place now, we will start clearing out the houses as I go. It's 1020. I'm just grabbing all the books. I'll, I'll sort through them later. I'll need to make a list of what I have and what I don't have. Uh, the earbuds I'll take. gonna remove the sheets you may ask I don't need any more sheets at my place but the day will come when I do I tend to be a pack rat if I'm gonna go through here I might as well make sure there's nothing in here rope I pulled in a battery I don't need the toolbox has nails in it um, I'm gonna grab the toolbox Unpack. Should have put them in my main inventory. Well, I guess I have to have it equipped to take things out of it. I want the box of nails. I do not want that. Okay. 
a leather jacket in good shape. I've got plenty of leather jackets at the moment. That is just simply not a priority. Okay, nothing there. A belt. Well, nothing else. I do have some items. It's now 11 o'clock. We will clean out the other items we have here for food. We might as well clean them out as we go. A baking pan, empty kettle. I will take the mortar and pestle. I don't. Or pestle. All of the canned food. Three water bottles. And the pop. Being as I'm having issues with that, I'm going to put one in the bag and I'm going to drink one. Okay. That kind of clears out that. Did I check the freezer? There certainly wasn't much food in this house. We'll close that door. Uh, there's an apple and cereal. I don't need the hot drink. Um, okay, we don't need cooking. We do take electrician. We will take the magazine and the crossword magazine. I really don't need the VHSs at the moment. Cooking and carpentry volume one are not necessary. All right, it is 11.30. We seem to be fairly secure right here. 1140. So we are going to go ahead and... Oh, we are very heavy load. We will have to drop the duffel bag if we end up having to fight. Um, we can equip the secondary here and take these items and put them in the duffel bag. I don't need that tote bag anymore. That'll give us some more weight reduction. Probably not enough at the moment. I think I've picked up a bunch of stuff here. Uh, the garbage bags. Oh, the garbage bag must have something. One of them must have something in it. Yeah, they do. Okay, let's turn the show on. Drop that. Equip secondary. I didn't realize that I didn't finish. Oh, that's got food items in it. Is the duffel bag full? I guess it is. Yep, it is full. Alright, we'll eat the peach while we watch the, or listen to the show. Do not need to carry around an empty pop can. Once this show is over, we'll make our way back to our base, drop things off, and then just continue with the next house. We're going to work our way down the street. So that's where we're going. So-called Knox event. They believe that residents will recover. This is day four. This is the noon show. I'm not sure we're going to get anything. I'm hesitant to speed up the speed. I um, kind of want to, but uh, quite frankly, I am on the wrong channel. I'm good at doing that. Uh, I'm terrible about paying attention to that. Okay, so our first missed show. We will live with it, I guess. I was hoping to make it through without missing any shows. So we've got this house feeling a little sad. So we're headed home with our heavy load. Oh, and there is a, 
There's a zombie. That is not good. Drop. All right. Walking up from the direction that, honestly, there shouldn't have been any zombies. In. still carrying a heavy load. No idea where that zombie came from. Oh, zombie. Skeleton now. So now when we go in houses, we especially in this little neighborhood right here, we will clean them out and bring them back as part of what we do that uh, will be overall part of our plan is just to go ahead and clean out anything of any use in this neighborhood and consolidate it back to our safe house i still need cigarettes but the most pressing need which of the duffel bag or a pressing need has been solved so i am in good shape with the duffel bag and we did we did find some nice food items so we're bringing them back. Have to do a little bit of inventory management here. We'll do it quickly and get back out there while it is daylight. The box of nails, the rope. The bottles of water. baking pan, the empty kettle, okay, throw the books on the bookshelf and head back out, I think I'm going to, yep, just throw them all on here, somewhere I have another book. I'm not exactly sure where it's at. It's probably in one of the bags. I do have a garbage bag with a few items in it as well. We're going to simply drop that on the floor and go back out before it gets any later. So the sheets and the, uh, the two garbage bags are just going to be dropped. And we're headed back out. I want to get the next house done before it gets dark. And the only way to do that is to continue on. So we are going to go down here, and there is another zombie. Where do they keep coming from? Oh. I'm not sure what that was. I think that might have been a gunshot. It certainly was not a good thing. There's a couple of cars there we can check. Kind of a wreck in the street. I see a grill back behind this house. I do see some windows here. I don't know if that'll mean there's any zombies inside or not. Yep, I see a zombie inside. Okay, and he comes out the window. <laughs> All right.
fairly secure. Let's go check out those. Oh, let's turn the TV to the right channel and turn it off. So we want to. back on. Okay, now it's on the right channel. Alright, we're going to check out those cigarettes. Okay, anyone up here? I don't hear anyone after my knock. Okay, a sewing kit. Oh. Sewing kit. We will start looting. Bath towel, toothpaste. Yeah, not all that interesting. Crayons. and a diamond pattern sweater. A very small upstairs on this house. So nothing of any use there. Electric wire I'll grab. Headphones. I will be breaking some of this stuff down later right now. I don't know if I have mechanics. I need to start making a list. I'll do that after the end of this day. I'll, I'll start making the list. Um, an empty bowl. I'll take that. I'll take the jar, the pot of uncooked soup, and the saucepan of rice. We will take those and cook those. That'll be some good food, especially when we put some stuff in it with it. All right. Let's see. A baking tray, a roasting pan, Another saucepan. We can always use those. Canned potato. We're going to end up having a heavy load again, I think. And we're full. Water bottle. So a number of things here that'll be useful. It's 410. We are heading back soon as we leave this house. Um, drop things off again. Catch our show. I've already got a kettle. I don't really think I need another one. That is a spoon on the counter. Okay, we got not much in the refrigerator. There are VHSs that I'm not getting. Doorknob and a hinge. And I'm carrying a heavy load again. Okay. Well, let's head back. As we have looted the second house on that street. Since I have my construction skills up to level 2, one of the things I may do very soon is wall off this little section here so that people can't enter the neighborhood down here. I think this is where people are coming in. Some of these people are coming in from. I may wall that off. I may go out to the outer edges of the neighborhood and I may put some additional walls in here to keep people out of where we're at right here. We could potentially move to a different house as well at some point. Uh, we'll see about that. I don't know. Sounds like a lot of work. Okay. So from here, what we're going to do is a little bit of inventory management. We will, um, and, and probably won't leave the house again today. This will be, uh, once I get everything put away, it will be time to call it a day. It'll be a bit late to be going out. 
Uh, still need cigarettes. I did not. I still have not found cigarettes. We will keep looting houses um, and looking for that. There, there will have to be something. Something will have to give for that. But I'll uh, once I find some that you know that'll probably be a priority as I start looking for things and we'll start going places where there's more like or where it's more likely to have that type of information or that type of item. So that uh, we'll be looking for sheds and garages where we can go in and maybe find some stuff, maybe go find a warehouse, something that would have some of that, some type of cigarette or crate or you know anywhere where there would be crates is a is a potential for where there would actually be or items that we would care about. So that's what we'll be doing. I'm going to put a cut in the video here, and we will come back tomorrow. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.